by 31 points. Footscray in the upset uh, by 11 points uh, yesterday out of Waverley against Hawthorne. Collingwood had a struggle against the Bears. They got there in the end by 22 points. Richmond breaking their duck by 24 points. And the Demons were very, very impressive. 70-point winners over the Kangaroos of the MCG. Now it's time to check the CUB AFL ladder. And the ladder with the Bombers on top. West Coast, Geelong, Collingwood, Carlton, St Kilda. We're going to talk about this ladder in a couple of minutes' time with Scotty Palmer. So just take note of that. Melbourne kick from that incident. Here's Jimmy Steins. Jimmy will be along a bit later on. He had the last laugh yesterday because he had a magnificent match against, uh, against North Melbourne. He really did play very, very well indeed. A big bump there was Taritsky and Sporting. Cuthbertson, what a good game he had with seven goals. Playing eight on Friday night. Cuthbertson, seven yesterday. And the Demons... Go three to Jimmy Steins. Two to Kevin Dyson playing in the middle for Melbourne. And one to uh, the former St Kilda player, Rod Owen, playing on the half-forward flank. And he kicked five goals. So Stein's in pretty good form. Yes, yeah, it started in the middle for Melbourne in that first quarter. What a quarter that was. They kicked uh, nine goals, one each, both sides. 18 goals, two for the term. So they virtually kicked a... Uh, there's been a scoring shot every minute and a half for the uh, first quarter. The only problem... Really, the only problem the player that played a reasonably poor game was Stretch, and he ended up at some stage in the back pocket. But Jimmy Stein's dominated the ruck, had uh, plenty of the ball, nearly 30 possessions, 14 hit-outs. He kicked one goal right on the final siren. They won it out of the middle, uh, out of the middle, excuse me, out of the middle very well, and drove it down to the forward line where they made it very easily for Owen. Bennett didn't have a great day; he only kicked two goals, but that, or three goals. He kicked one in the end, but uh, his game. Well, I think Melbourne's game was so much better because they weren't relying on the full forward. They had so many options in that forward line, and it also made it so very easy for the Melbourne defenders. Now, Bernie, it's getting very serious uh, times for North Melbourne. I mean, they're absolutely getting thrashed in the last uh, you know, two or three weeks. Obviously, there's a lot of looseness in their play. Is it from their defence or their on-ballers? I mean, Viney and uh, Jimmy here got possession galore. Were they manned up? Look, Melbourne were totally committed yesterday, Ron, and uh, I think that's where it came out. They were just so more committed than North Melbourne. It really started in the middle. Gallagher is a uh, player who competes all the time, but he is very slow. He lacks agility. He lacks pace. Jimmy just with his athleticism ran him around, and that was the end of it. And it all started there. Dyson, number 34 in the March draft. And he's had uh, nearly 30 possessions out of the middle. He's had two games at other, uh, two tries at other clubs, and yet he killed them yesterday out of the middle. Bernie, you mentioned uh, Darren Bennett and had a great day. Well, I, I saw him last week, and he impressed with the way he went about his game. He kicked three, I think, last week as well, but probably meant six or seven to his side. You think he's working hard? I mean, I was always brought up under the way that a full forward's job is not only to kick goals, but to see the goals are kicked. Now, it was that evident again yesterday? It was evident. Kelly played very well, Darren Bennett. He took a few great marks and he was prepared to pass them off from just outside the 50 metre mark when he probably could have made the distance without any problem. So he played a very unselfish game. Bernie, I saw Melbourne in America last year play against the West Coast and very impressed with young Cuthbertson. Very good, Peter. Seven goals at full, uh, well, forward pocket. And uh, the good thing about it, Darren Bennett gets the uh, best player from North Melbourne defence yesterday, which was Martin and he has a smaller player to play on. He moves around well, he kicks well, took some great marks, and uh, I couldn't fit him in for a vote, unfortunately, but uh, I apologise to him for that. 